Diana. So we're coming up on what looks like the ocean on a beautiful starry night, and a boat calls the La Luna is arrived with a man and a child and another old man in it. And they're sailing across, or not sailing, they're rowing, it's a rowboat. They're rowing across. There's nothing else around. There's no other boats or islands. And now the man who's rowing, who seems to be maybe the father, and big and burly has stopped, and the old man has put in an anchor and given the little boy a package, like a fabric parcel. And he just unwrapped it and got a hat, a little cap that he put on. He seems very excited about it. And the grandfather's helping adjust it for him. But the father seems like, no, that's not how you wear the hat. So then they are fighting back and forth between the two, trying to adjust the hat on the little boy. And the grandfather's given up. And he's turned off the lamp and seems to be frustratedly sitting there. And we seem to be sitting in silence. And now the little boy is sitting next to the grandfather, kind of mimicking him, and all three men are sitting with their arms folded. And the father brushed his nose, and now the boy brushed his nose. And then the grandfather cleaned his ear, and then the boy cleaned his ear. But now, suddenly, something bright is on the horizon, and the boy looks off into the distance with wonder. And it seems to be a gigantic, bright moon. Um, being brightly shining upon the ocean. The father picks up the anchor, pulls it back in the boat, and the father has pulled out this ladder, which seems to be never ending out of the boat, sticking it up on the edge and has leaned it up towards the sky. And he's inviting the boy to come up on the ladder. He seems kind of scared and nervous. So he has the anchor around his waist and tied himself up. And he's heading over the ladder and he's starting to climb up. He's looking back down, hesitantly, up and then down, and the grandfather eggs him on. So he starts climbing up, and he climbs up out of the screen. And now we see him from the sky, looking down on him, and he's climbing up right towards the moon. He's almost at the top, and he's looking kind of nervous until all of a sudden he starts to float. And his hat goes up, he holds his hat, and he's trying to swim through the air until he kind of turns upside down, and now he's on the moon. So we flip upside down. And now he's sitting kind of surprised on what looks like a new landscape filled with all sorts of glowing stars all over the place. They look almost like cookies that are lit up in the shape of a star. Um, some of them are coming out of craters. He's looking out into the sky. He seems on the other side, the ladder, and his parent, or his father and grandfather. And they have the anchor, and he's holding onto the anchor to make sure he can get back down. He sticks it into one of the craters, and it looks like the father is now climbing up the ladder. And a new star just showed up and flew down like the Halley's Comet and has landed and has become from a blue shining star into the biscuit cookie looking star. And the boy goes over and touches it timidly and then runs away. The father's grandfather showed up and surprisingly there is what looks like an outhouse <laughs> on the moon. Um, but it's not an outhouse, it's a janitor's closet, and the, they pull out a bucket full of mops and rakes and shovels, and the three of them start to take things out, but then the father stops the boy from taking something out. It seems like he wants to show him how to do it. So the father has a push broom and showing the little boy how to sweep up the stars, the star cookie things. And of course the grandfather has a different broom and is showing him how to do it differently. And the boy has both brooms and is looking between the two of them, how to know what to do and using Italian gestures to communicate with each other <laughs> about what to do. And now the little boy is looking at both of them and pretending to use the brooms as mustaches. But now the two of them look up in the sky and a crazy blue star is heading towards them, and it has landed and exploded while they run and ducked and hid under the crater. And the three of them peer out, and it's a gigantic star that instead of laying down like a cookie is stuck into the ground. The three of them stand up and look, seem confused, bewildered. Why is there the giant star there? So they look at their shovel, which has been broken to pieces, and their broom, which is broken into pieces. So they've got one broom left, another broom left, and they're trying to sweep it up, but they can't. It's stuck. The boy looks again with wonder up to the star and touches it timidly. Nothing happens. Hits it again a little bit harder, and a wave of light goes over the star. And he looks again, bewildered. 
He walks off definitively back into the janitor's closet bin, turns his cap on backwards, walks back to his father and grandfather arguing, and he climbs up the star all the way to the tippity tippity toppity point. And he sits on it, straddling it almost like a horse and petting it, listening, he seems to be listening. And with a hammer, hits it once, blue light goes everywhere and it turns into a bunch of the little tiny star cookie things. And they slowly drift down to the surface of the moon and the boy kind of glides down the stars with them. The father and grandfather look bewildered and then all the stars come crashing down out of slow motion and the little boy pops out in the pile of them, giggling, the grandfather giggle, giggles, the father giggles, and then the little boy begins to rake, the father begins to sweep, the grandfather begins to sweep, and they begin raking up and sweeping up the stars together. What seems like from one side of the moon to the other side of the moon, to make it dark on one side and light on the other side. It cuts back to the boat, they've gotten back down through the magic of the movies, and they are now on the boat, and the father and grandfather are kind of commending the little boy by tapping him on the head. And the three of them look up in awe at their now crescent-shaped moon triumph. La Luna, the title comes in at the end. <laughs> okay, and then stop recording. That's a lot! And then <laughs> um, just close that window on the top, uh, I mean to Diana. Just oh, okay, well, I'll put this back at the beginning.